is Nicole from jacebeauty.com. Hey! I have been gone for a minute, um, but I just wanted to come back and show you guys my crochet braids. I love them. I absolutely love crochet braids. I have never worn them before, and um, I just wanted to try something new. Huge, huge shout out to Beautiful Mind. It might be Beautiful Mindy. She spells it beautiful, M-Y-N-D-E. So I don't know if it's Beautiful Mind or Beautiful Mindy, but a uh, huge shout out to her. And then another huge shout out to Toy's Voice. Um, both of those ladies did a fantastic job. The first video that I saw was from Beautiful Mind. And I love the way the style looked on her. You know, she has two videos, I think, where she's wearing the crochet braids. One, she's wearing them dark. Maybe it's a number two, maybe it's a number four, I don't know. And then another video, she's wearing them with some maybe number 27 highlights, some blonde highlights. And I thought the style was so cute on her. I was like, I want to try it, I want to try it. And then, um, and then she gave a shout out to Toy's Voice. And she, her um, YouTube account or name is um, T-O-Y-S Voice, Toy's Voice. Girl, you put it down in that video. It was on point. First of all, just the fact that you took all of that time to include us in, you know, your whole process of doing your crochet braids and you were just, just your instructions were perfect. I followed your instructions to do mine and I love them. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So, um, I'm feeling free. Y'all, I mean, I you know, it's it's been a minute since I have worn any type of braids at all because as you know, at jacebeauty.com, you know, we sell um, virgin Remy and Remy hair, um, Indian, Brazilian, Russian, um, Malaysian. You'll find Indian on the website and then obviously the other hairs are available through us as well. Uh, but anyway, so for, for me, synthetic hair was the enemy. Synthetic hair was the devil. Okay, you know, it's like, why would I put plastic in my hair when I can either wear it natural, which I've been natural for a long time, natural meaning wearing it, wearing my natural hair out in a fro or twist or whatever, and also wearing my weaves and wigs and, and, and so forth. So I've been doing a lot of both for the last, what, 20 years, um, and so, but let me just tell you why I love crochet braids. When you're wearing your weaves, you need to take a break every once in a while. Why? Because you don't want bald edges when you're age 45 or 50 or 60 because you've worn weaves forever and you've constantly had that tension on your edges. So you need to give your hair a break every once in a while. Whether you throw on a wig, you know, and just have your hair braided underneath loosely or whatever. So this was such a nice um, change for me because I just loosely corn, not loosely, but you know, I corn rode my hair and then crochet braiding is just knotting hair around your cornrows. And I'll show you how I did mine. I'll show you my braid pattern and I'll show you all that. I'm just kind of talking, you'll know how I do. Anyway, um, but I love it because there's no stress on my roots and there's no stress. There's no stress at all. It's wonderful. It's just wonderful. My so, braiding pattern. So let me, let me tell you about my braiding pattern. The one thing that I did do a little differently than Toy, Toy's voice, um, is she braids straight back, straight back, all the way back from here, straight back. Eight braids on one side, eight, you know, braids, cornrows on the other. What I did was I braided this side straight back, I braided this side straight back. And then in the top, I, I parted it and I braided these cornrows over to the side and these cornrows kind of side and back. like that because I wanted it to fall. I, you know, I wanted these to kind of fall backwards and I wanted these to fall forward like that. So that's how I did mine. Um, let me show you the part because this is really my favorite part about these crochet braids with this textured hair. Now again, this is 
This style is probably about a week old on me, but let me open this up a little bit. You see that part? Can you see that? I love it because even though it's a little old, you, there's no, you know, it looks natural. It looks like these, you know, this texture is just kind of coming out of my scalp. I love that. I love it, love it, love okay. it, love it. Let me get to the point. All right, so what did I use? Free Tress, Free Tress. Free Tress Bulk, Bulk. Do not get the weft in, you guys, Bulk. And I used Water Wave. Now you can see this is a number two. What I have in my hair is I have a number two, I've got a little bit of a number four, you know, I got a little bit of 427, but not much. What happened was I started putting the four in and I was, wasn't really digging it. So I said, hey, it's my first time, let me just go with the number two and then I can always add in some splashes of color as I go along. So that's what I have in now. This is a number two and um, tools. Okay, you guys, I just had to adjust my camera a little bit. We were talking about tools. So I showed you the hair that I used, the Free Tress Bulk, and then this is the latch hook needle. So you see that? A lot of people call it a crochet needle, but it's a latch hook needle. You can get it at sewing machine, I'm sorry, sewing stores, craft stores, you know, Walmart. I got mine from Walmart for $1.99. Make sure it has this little latch here on it. So that's the latch hook needle. And, um, and I use lotion. I'm gonna show you what I do with it. A lot of people I've heard use gel on their, um, on the synthetic hair just to make it, uh, just to control it a little bit. I like to use lotion because it softens the, um, the fiber. So this is one of the little squigglies from the package. How the package is gonna come, just like regular braid hair, you know you have this big long piece of braid hair, they grab it up in the middle and slip the package over it. So when you open it, you've got hair that comes up to the little um, twist tie and then comes back down. You just cut it right there in the middle and then this is one of the pieces that are left, okay? One of these little squigglies. So you take this piece, any kind of little lotion, any kind of hand and body lotion that you want to use. And then I rub it all through the hair. And what this does is it kind of softens the hair, the, the fiber, I keep calling it hair, but you know what I mean. Kind of softens it a little bit. And then, just like Toy said in her video, you take that piece, do not put this whole piece in your head. Don't do that, you'll be looking like Shaka Khan. I open it up just a little bit, you know, kind of spread it a little bit, and then you split it. You just break off. You split it into threes. So I'm just gonna break off this little piece here. And what that lotion does, see it comes apart so easily. If you don't have the lotion on there, it kind of tends to get a little tangled up on the ends, all right? And then you just kind of roll it through your fingers to control any of those little frizzies that come off. See, this is the this is the piece that I just took. See how frizzy it is? So you just kind of wrap your fingers around it in a spiral motion. So I'm gonna show you how I do just one of the little crochet braids. Again, go to Toys Voices video for the detailed, you know, tutorial, but. I'm just gonna lift up the front here. Okay, so you take your, cro your crochet needle, right? Open it up, your latch hook needle, sorry. Open it up, all right? Hopefully you can see that, I'm not crouching down. Hopefully you can see. I'm gonna use this one right in the front, this little braid. You push it through, okay? Take your hair. Wrap that between your forefinger and your thumb, nice and tight. Let that grab onto the hair there. Push the latch closed, pull it through. And then you see the little opening that you have there? Leave that opening open and pull these hairs right on through, just like that, very simple. So now it's latched onto your braid you have two separate pieces. I knot them about, I don't know, three, four times. 
You gotta knot it more than once or else the hair is probably gonna slip out. So I knot it, you know, maybe four times there. The one thing that I was surprised about is the knots are not tight. I don't know how closely you can see that, but the knots aren't really that tight. I love that, because it's not putting any extra stress on my hair. So that, you know, is one little piece that I put through. That was a piece of uh, 427, so you know it's got a little, see it's got a little highlight. Where'd it go? Where'd my little highlight go? My little highlight. See there? I don't know how well that's showing up. And then, you know, if it's too long for you, see this one's a little too long for the front. Some people just cut it straight across. I kind of like to glide the scissors down it just a little bit. It frizzes it up a little bit, but I like that. It makes it look a little more natural. You know, then just keeping the curl pattern tight. Let's see. Yeah, I would have to cut that a little bit more. You know, you can shape it to how you like it. But um, but that's how you do it. You, that's how you do it. Check out Toy's Voice again for the 18th time and check out her tutorial. Um, and you ladies that are getting a little up in age and you have a little grays coming out in the front, just go get, um, actually, I have one. Just one second.